And even though she was raised in Southern California, she claims that men from the East Coast make better dates. Please welcome Janine Bowe. Hi, Janine. How are you? So you, you like East Coast men? Oh, yes, Chuck. Why is that? Because they're the only kind of guys to date. Well, why? Because they're the best. Well, <laughs> West Coast men are wimps. They're wimps. West Coast men are wimps. They're wimps. They don't know how to treat a lady with respect, I think. East Coast men have all the manners. <laughs> now, are ponytails on men a real big turn off to you or just to your mom? Oh, you don't know. To me. Solely to my decision. I see it. I it makes me want to puke. I total turn off. Well, you know, a guy with long hair that has makes all... you want to puke? Yes, I swear. That's a pretty violent reaction. Well, guys with all one length hair that have something to put into a ponytail, that's fine. Mm. But it's the guys that have the crew cut on top, really short on the sides, and they have this little tiny. They've got more rubber band than they have hair. <laughs> Come on, I just want to cut it off, <laughs> and I have. <laughs> I'm hanging around the wrong spot, I guess. Let's take a look at the men that Janine uh, had to choose from. Now, don't forget, you're going to pick the man that she thinks best for. Here we go. First, there's Rich. He was raised in Tuxedo Park, New York. East Coast guy. Likes to watch surfers, but he's not crazy about getting on a board himself. He describes his, his personality as something that's, quote, an acquired taste. He told us how his social life improved when he visited his brother's college. I used to go down and hang out at University of Delaware where he went to school. And he just, he pulled me aside. He said, Rich, don't be nice. Girls don't like that down here. So I said, well, what do you want me to do? He said, just be a jerk. So I did, and it worked out really well. <laughs> <laughs> Next, there's Scott. He claims that the best opening line in his arsenal is, Hey, Cookie, want to buy me a drink? <laughs> Give you some idea. He may be in real serious trouble, okay? He says that he can find out if someone wants to get in a serious relationship, and he's willing to settle for very uh, hot and heavy first date. He told us about his last relationship. I found this girl on an island, and we were working, I was working on a water ski island up in Michigan, and I thought everything was great because we were on the island, her boyfriend was downstate, and he would never find Okay, finally, uh, Michael, he's from Peabody, Massachusetts, another East Coast guy. He thinks that uh, little white lies are the glue that holds relationships together. He says his biggest fear is coming off like a meathead on television. <laughs> and I guess we'll find out whether he's going to do that uh, a little later. It just backs up immediately, all of a sudden I hear, meow! I'm like, oh no, oh, say it isn't so. Look up and, and uh, she's like, oh my God, she's a mess. She goes, you killed my cat. The cat was struggling to get out, his tail's under the wheel and everything, just fighting. I'm like, oh. <laughs> just back it up and uh, it walked, whimpered out of there. Uh, hold, hold the letters, will you? I'm, okay. Those are the three men that Janine had to choose from. Time for you to vote. Who do you think would be the best man for her? Take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the man that Janine selected. We're going to hear everything that happened on their date. We'll do that in two and two. Be right back. Up. All right, we're back. Janine's going to tell us who she selected. I selected Michael. Michael. Yeah. All right. Hey, Michael. Michael, I have no idea how this date went, but I promise you, you won't come off looking like a meathead unless Thanks, it's, on your, it's it. on your shoulders, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Tell me about the date, Jeannie. Um, well, we, I called him up, and we, I decided to meet him down there since I knew the area down that he was in, in Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. So I drove down there on the way down there. One of there. our lovely Southern Ooh, California yes, beach communities. Yes. So I drove down there on my way down. I was feeling a bit apprehensive, but... I decided that, oh, I'll just go through with it, no problem. I get down there. Apprehensive, by the way, is valley girl for apprehensive. Apprehensive. <laughs> 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 I know, I'm too. Anyways, I get down there, and um, he, all, all the streets and everything were very familiar to me, and he told me about the landmark that they had, which is this Cadillac convertible, painted like a cow, and it says cow do on it. 
So as soon as I saw that, I knew I was in the right place. Good. So Who I pull up and... What, Michael? <laughs> it was a rough afternoon for one of the roommates. He got bored, so we kind of put a hacksaw to the Cadillac and painted it like a cow to make us feel more of the, more of the East Coast. <laughs> I don't know. I just sit here, I listen, I don't know. <laughs> so you, you so, got to his place. Mm -hmm. He had told me that um, his roommates were, they were having a cookout. Uh -huh. So when I pulled up, there were several of them outside <laughs> well, playing many? basketball. I think about four or five. Four or five guys. Now what did, five, you, what, what did they think when, when she arrived, Michael? We were playing basketball and there was a lot running through everyone's mind. And when she pulled up, the mouse dropped. The basketball dropped. Everything dropped. <laughs> Very surprised. All right. Good. Pleasantly surprised. So this is good. Mm -hmm. They slam dunk, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. What did you think of him when you saw him? He looked a lot better. Definitely. Better? Better in person than his video. Oh, good. Yes, most definitely. So this is awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now what happened? Michael drove. We went to the restaurant. Okay. And we had to wait a little bit before we were seated. Now, were you, were you excited? Were your little palms kind of sweaty and stuff, or what? Actually, I was feeling a lot more relaxed. Were you? Definitely. Oh, yeah. So, um, at the restaurant, um, we ate, we chatted, we had a lot of good conversation, a lot in common. And um, it was basically it was yeah. going really well. We went to, um, we decided we were going to go dancing. Okay. So, we went to a dance club, and then I started to get hot. So, <laughs> very hot. Michael went and got me some napkins to cool off with. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> well, so now what happened? And I went and sat down for a while. I cooled off. Mm -hmm. Well, Chuck, I knew how to cool her off. <laughs> <laughs> it was, how was that, Michael? <laughs> it was getting late, so I said, "Let's go back to my house." And she lived about an hour and half away, hour and fifteen minutes. So I didn't want to drive in that late. So I said, "You're a little hot. You're a little bothered. So why don't you just hop in my jacuzzi?" <laughs> In the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. And did you do that? Well, I really didn't have a bathing suit. <laughs> so Michael offered me some of his clothes to go in. A pair of shorts and a t-shirt. I was a fashion arrest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the t-shirt was an extra large truck, but she filled it out rather well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for that. How did, how did this date end, Jay? One of his roommates was out of town, so I stayed in one of his roommates. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, so. After we talked a little bit more. So it was a good date. Yeah. And yeah, he got up the next morning and... And he kissed me good morning. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got up and her mother called. Oh. I thought I was in big trouble. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. wait. Uh, did you talk to her mother, Michael? Nope, I gave it to my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Denise, Mom, Jim, your call. Let's take a look and see the audience pick for you. So, oh, you had a good day. Oh, they got Michael, too, at 60%. Thanks for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed having you. Thank you. Going to come right back with another couple right after this. Stay with us. <laughs>